So what interested you in farming? I like to eat. Uh, I got my interest in farming because I like to eat. I really wanted to know where my food was coming from and I found it difficult to just shop at farmers markets. And then I became really preachy about, you should eat this and you should try that and organic. And I figured if I was going to preach it, I should practice it as well. And if you start with good ingredients, you don't have to do that much in the kitchen. Um, how can kids get involved? Is there any way that you can have like volunteers come in or anything like that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the easiest way to get involved with a farm is go to the farmer's market and ask a farmer. If there's a vegetable farmer you like or if there's you know a chicken farmer or somebody with sheep, go up, start a conversation with a farmer and ask to come help out sometime. We're always, uh, small scale farms in particular are very open to visitors, having people come work on the farm and I love personally sharing my experience with just about everybody who wants to partake. So what is a farm crow? Farm crawl, farm crawl is a way for people to become more connected with the people who are providing their food. So it's eight different farms in the same area and any family can drive to all eight farms or pick the ones that particularly interest you the most and drive from farm to farm, visiting the people where they produce the food. Why well, is it important to see where our food comes from? Uh, <laughs> As it's important to see where our food comes from because the certifications I feel are getting more and more diluted, organic certified or certified this or certified that. I say that our farm is customer certified. Our door is always open so people can come onto the farm, see that we're not spraying anything crazy, giving anything crazy to our livestock. I'll walk over and eat our chicken feed right out of the feeder because there's no, we're shenanigans free. This incoming humidity will mean trouble for this upcoming week. This is your weekday weather report with your weatherman, Duo Zhang. You can expect this Tuesday to be riddled with thunderstorms as highs held around the lower 80s. However, skies can clear up for the only day this week, this Wednesday, when highs will remain around the same and humidity will linger around. Then on Thursday and Friday, you can expect p.m. thunderstorms and showers, respectively, as highs now near 90 degrees with extremely high humidity. So prepare yourselves for this upcoming weekend. The weather won't be all bad as we head into the summer. Weather out.